So those of you at home, if you have been able to get some white paint on top of your vase, what you're going to do now is use a toothpick or a bamboo skewer, and you're going to redraw on there some of your details. So I just did an ellipse along the top, that little skinny oval, and now I'm actually drawing lines. I'm putting a little bit of a curve on it so that it looks three-dimensional and I'm going to break up my vase into a few sections. What's gonna be fun is that we're gonna be able to add details in those sections. So let's look here. I don't want you to do your lines going straight across. What they need to be is kind of curved. That top part will be a border, and then the main sections will be where the main theme or idea of your art is going to be. So up here, I'm now looking at some of the nature-inspired borders that they use, and I'm going to put one design in each section, and I'm just scratching into there, and what that does is it just moves that white paint over to the side and reveals the blue underneath. So we're going to see, because the Chinese people really love nature, you're going to see leaves, feathers, um, stars, wind. Uh, you're going to see things that look like pathways that people would have walked in. And then the exciting part is that you get to work on the main section, which is where you're going to have your main idea. Not like a research paper or essay, but the main idea of, is it going to be flowers? Is it going to be dragons? And I'm going to be attaching idea sheets to um, uh, for you guys on the connect page on teams so that you can look at some of these idea sheets in this example you're seeing me do a floral design but i'm not doing the circle with the little petals around the outside no no no, no. we're going to do some fancy stuff and you just have to follow it one thing at a time here's another theme they would have which would be bamboo the way they draw bamboo kind of looks like a whole bunch of finger bones all connected uh, together. It's kind of fun. So if you look right there, there's my finger bones all stacked together to make my bamboo. And now I'm adding all these little branches with leaves on it. And you might notice that sometimes I take my uh, toothpick or my bamboo skewer and I just kind of put some tiny little scratchy lines in there to shade it in and to make it look darker, kind of like what I'm doing there. Feel free to do that because then we can just see more and more of your blue. Now, once again, I'm working along here. I got my borders, but then I always have my main design. Let's go back to some of our borders. Here's me filling in some borders. And then you're about to see me showing you how to draw some of those different borders. This one almost looks like rainbows kind of stacked up. This one looks like crisscross. A little bit of uh, a bridge there, or fire, or leaves. Um, super, super, they look complicated, but if you just do it one line at a time, like this star one, they go pretty quickly. And then we get into our main ideas. We already saw floral. You might decide that you want to have one of yours be inspired by dragons. I'm going to promise you right now, the first time you draw a dragon, you're going to think it's horrible, but I promise the more you add, the better it looks. It always does. And don't forget your curly Q clouds. Another one would be cherry blossoms. They would, um, this was a common theme or even plum blossoms that they would have lots and lots. Don't be finished. You can always add more. Kids are always so quick to say, I'm done, but you got time. Add some more. Make it fabulous. Another one is to draw a pagoda on the idea sheet. I'll actually have a step-by-step -step way to do it. Don't finish your pagoda and say, I'm done. No, keep going. Add a bridge, add a tree, add some clouds, add some mountains. And then even after you have that far, go back and add some shading in there with your cross hatching. It just goes from, like I like to say, from not to hot, it looks great like that. So you're going to just keep adding all those little shadows in there. Another theme that they like to put as a main idea were fish. And so if you see right here, you'll see some fish in there and you're not gonna just do a fish and be done. We need for you to add some uh, seaweed 
Uh, if you look at the idea, the fish idea sheet, you're going to see all oh, these little tiny feathery little uh, uh, seaweed that they would put in there. And that can look really cool as well. Here at the, at the end, you know, if you have some blank space, just go ahead and fill it up with parts of what you did. And if you don't have a vase at all, you can totally do this on white paper using a blue marker. And even though it won't be the same as scratching everything out, you're still gonna be able to make some beautiful, beautiful vases. No doubt about that. So you're gonna keep filling it up. And the other thing that you may wanna do every once in a while is to take your skewer and make your lines just a little bit thicker. You're gonna see right here how I'm. if I make it a little bit thicker, it kind of beefs it up. All right, so that's what you're doing today. Have fun.